Good morning! Today, we're going to do something that I'm very excited about, which is show off my Minecraft world. If I may, can I? <laughs> Please? <laughs> I just thought it could be cool to do like a summary of what we got so far. This is the main mansion. The main biz. The my beauty. Uh, I wanted to have like an Eastern style to it, kind of like uh, I was watching Avatar when I designed it. So I thought like the Fire Nation kind of looked cool. Uh, there's supposed to be a planet there, but it's not loaded in, and we're gonna have a lot of that issue because I don't know after after the latest update, it's everything is laggy, and I have so much stuff going on. These are my uh, people. I cherish and love them. We will go through them later, uh, but why don't we start with the main gist of this whole giant ass building? Which is here, the main hub, next to Dark Sven 2.0, and bonk his ass. Uh, so you come home from an adventure, you come home from the nether portal, which is supposed to be over there. Your box is full, you want to just dump it all somewhere. You don't want to go to each of the boxes to put them in, yuck. That's boring. I present to you, therefore, as some of you know, my famous automatic sorting system, also known as ass. You can see it's already working, actually, that's cool. So you can dump in any of these chests. All the stuff that you don't want to sort out. Uh, I'm putting in different boxes just because it's faster that way, because it shoots out faster. Otherwise, it takes just one at a time. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you could also, if you wanted to dump all the stuff you have in your red shulker box, that's why these are here. So, you know, if you had stuff in here, like, I don't know, a couple arrows, just to show, uh, you could. that's another method to do it. And holy cow, the it's making me lag. <laughs> So, you'll see them get shot out here underneath. Uh, why don't I just show you the insides? So here's a tick for each of the different boxes that then shoots out here. They all meet in the middle. So it goes through here, which is the first sorting process, which is later for when they're supposed to be melted or not. I'll show that later, it's really cool actually. Back to surface. And if it isn't painfully obvious, I am super proud of this build. Uh, but anyway, so items get shot through here and they go through this main sort of pump here, which is connected to the west side of the building and the east side of the building to other two pumps. Uh, there's a lot of pipe systems just intertwining and connecting, but this is the main one that shoots out. Uh, you'll see the items pass through here until they find their respective box, which is this one for this item. And as you can see, it's filling itself up. It's pretty standard. It's just done into a massive scale. All of these are getting sorted items. You see them pass through at the top. And then they also go through here, here, here. And then the last one is this block. So all of these type of things will automatically sort. I do have some empty ones. Then, if an item isn't get recognized, it ends up here. It's usually all the eggs. I don't need these eggs. So I hit the flick and then it gets burned in the lava. It is kind of annoying to listen to, so I'll just, I'll just keep collecting eggs for now. So, why don't we go to the west side and start talking about all the items there. So here's what I talked about earlier, one of the main pumps. It's so fun seeing items pass through, because that means it is working, even with a low render distance. I should increase it. This pump goes all the way to the bottom underneath the building, and I'll show you later. Which is then connected to the main hub that I talked about earlier. It has my pumpkin farm right here, which is amazing. As you can see, they get collected underneath. And then there's my melon farm. Works the exact same way. I have a semi-automatic nether wart farm, which gets collected underneath here once you farm. You see they're disappearing. You can make them kind of autom fully automatic, but yeah, I don't know. Since I needed so much nether brick, I, I, I did need to make one of these. Uh, anyway, here is my Kruger farm, which I love. It looks so cool. Usually automatic farms look kind of ugly, I'm not gonna lie. It's not, you know, my design. I just kind of changed how it looks like a little bit. So it looks like a Japanese uh, pagoda. Basically, only creepers can spawn in these heights. Then there's a water uh, redstone that ticks every other block so that the creepers will get pushed down into the middle. I'll, I'll show you. It's the standard farm. I don't need to explain how all of them work, but they fall down here. They get sucked in there. They die there. The items gets collected and it goes through a pipe underneath the surface into the pump. It's pretty cool. Let's go to the east side. Here we have our pump number... I fell down the, the whole thing. Damn it. <laughs> 
Yet again! <laughs> Hold up, let me go up again. Oh my god. You're killing me, Minecraft. Please make hoppers less laggy. It didn't used to be like this, I swear. I have a good computer, I swear. Damn, Bunky, you look good in this light, man. Here are my... Carrot farm, beet farm, potato farm. They work amazingly. They used to break all the time in the past because I would give them some freedom, kind of like free-range ki uh, chickens. They were allowed to go outside. But uh, now they're not allowed to go outside and it works beautifully. They are great uh, people that work hard for me and I appreciate them, of course. They're just amazing. You ma I make so much money thanks to these guys. Basically, once their inventory is full, because they collect what uh, they farm, they trade it with the guys in the middle, and the guys in the middle just drop them underneath him, and that gets collected in the system, and then gets pumped into the system again. Uh, it's all fully automatic. The only process that I have to do is making uh, making the trade. I redirected the, all the farming stuff here just so I can access them quicker. It's a sub ass, I guess you can call it. So uh, all the carrots and all the stuff, yeah, it, it gets here. And even the melon, I, I put a long pipe that goes all the way over here. So I don't have to walk all the way to the thing and I can just trade them really quickly. And I can see what they are trading. You trade me beet, give me my beet money. And then if I have stuff left over, I can just dump it here and it gets shot back into the ass system. Sub ass system, sorry. I have more villagers down here, but I realize I don't need them anymore. Like they're kind of useless. Hold up. This thing at night, by the way, looks so good. I'll show you later more. But yeah, I have more that I can trade with. I just, a lot of them died and they're, they're just too annoying to keep track on. I don't really need the money anymore. The lightning would keep striking them. Uh, but now they added the lightning rod. Thank you, Minecraft. Thank you, Mojang. I really appreciate the lightning rod. But yeah, you know, we're doing we're doing good out here. And we're making money. I'm, <laughs> I'm proud of my Minecraft wealth more than anything. <laughs> this is like my house tour. Cringe YouTubers, there's actual house tours. Real YouTubers, Minecraft house, house tour. We haven't explained everything that goes on underneath the surface. So let's go downstairs, actually. There's so many amazing U Minecraft YouTube channels. I've basically just taken their ideas and, and copied it, so I can't take credit. But yeah, basically all the food gets collected here and it goes in there. And it's so satisfying seeing them get shot around. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're doing any- oh, it's night, so they're not trading. Anyway, we do also have, if we head over here, it's important that this house, uh, the inside was lit up. Well, one creeper can cause a, a horrible situation. Here is the underneath of my nether farm, I think. Here is the underneath of my melon and pumpkin farms. My sheepskin farm, so I get all the different colors. It's a great farm. Automatic farm. It's fully automatic and any, anything fully automatic I would decided to build. So once they cut their skin, <laughs> it gets shot out from here, which then goes into... Ba -ba -da -boo, you guessed it, one of the main pumps. It's over there, right there. Uh, there's a lot of connection here to this main pump and I had to make some weird solutions because I was really running low on space. Uh, there's also the paper farm, same same gist of that. It goes here, back into, you guessed it, the main pump. The main pump, uh, which is really useful. I love automatic farms. I don't know what it is. Something just watching stuff work on its own <laughs> is so satisfying. I love it. I don't know if you can tell. Next up, we have one of my pride and joys, my giga ass melter. This thing is a goddamn beast. I love this thing. So the way it works is these uh, two mine cards collects from this chest what needs to be melted, which then gets distributed underneath into the furnaces here. The furnaces then get fuel from all of these uh, farms of bamboo that just have detectors that crushes them and then gets collected underneath. I built way too many of these. That was not necessary at all to build that many because uh, <laughs> <I guess. laughs> they're all full. They're all full. The thing was like when I tested it, I needed more and more and more, but clearly like they start accumulating if you're not melting anything. So, oh, this one's empty. That's probably got stuck somewhere. Great. Or maybe I actually just gave up. It doesn't matter because it, it gets distributed throughout anyway. But yeah, these minecarts collects the the fuel and it all automatically puts in coal as well if it runs out. 
so right now it's melting some raw iron, which once it's done, it spits out, as you can see here, and it goes back into the pump, which then sh shumps it back into the system, and then into my my chest. The way the back end works is over here. These are uh, this is a sub sorting ass where they go over here, and if they fit any of these uh, throughout here then they will be caught up by the system and they'll shoot them out down into here and they'll say, okay, we're ready to be melted. These hoppers will pick them up. Brrr, see how fast that was? 60 blocks. Brrr, uh, it will then distribute them to the smelters, which is melting the... Look how fast it's doing all this. I love it. It's already spitting out. It's so satisfying to watch it. I need to cover up with some more glass though. Let's go up and uh, check them. And they should be adding up here. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I am so rich. You are all poor. I am so rich. <laughs> it's so satisfying. I love it. <laughs> A millionaire laughs at his money. Yes. Yes. Bring me wealth. <laughs> I could sit here all day just looking at that. Yes. Yes, do go. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, make me rich here. Mm. So it is quite fast. It's a well-oiled system, isn't that right, Bonky? Um, you know, we also have other stuff, but I'm not sure if it's that interesting. <laughs> this is one of the first things I built. You guys saw it on the live streams. I think I'll make it probably into like a bee farm or a honey farm. Because uh, I know I can make that fully automatic as well. Oh, speaking of the iron, by the way, I don't know if I showed. This is my iron uh, melter. So if you look underneath, there are villagers who are scared of the zombie, which spawns a golem, iron golem. This thing works chef kiss so well. I don't know how. This is not an original design to me, but I mean, I did kind of make it, you know? It just works so well. I, it's like me stealing the ideas of other people and then making it into something even more amazing. Because it works so good. It never get. He used to get stuck all the time. He never gets stuck anymore. Thanks to new and improved system. So good. Uh, so he burns up, uh, which then sends over all the iron, which gets through this pipe underneath the water. So cool, right? Then goes to that pump. That pump goes there, and then all the way through the air system. And, uh, yeah. This is the nerdiest video ever, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, are you dying again? Oh, that's too bad. God, it's so satisfying. Hey, I'm not saying this is the more, most ethical, morally ethical build in the world, okay? Yes, we are profiting from the suffering of other people. This is not clean energy that provides. But look, we're getting rich from it. It's all worth it. I share my wealth. Uh, let's go upstairs. This is my living quarters. We got Donkey, not Bonky. Uh, my al alchemy uh, place. This is where I sleep. Definitely have neglected this area. Like, it needs... If I were to do more stuff, it'd probably be here. But, you know, it's got some stuff on it, I think. We got more glass melting. Oh, it's the melted glass being shot back. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Yes, it is. Let's jump down. I know Mojang is not going to do it, but I would love if they made a new sort of redstone machine, something like this. If, for example, I have a sugarcane farm, I would love to have some sort of redstone Minecraft contraption, the redstone that makes automatically this, like turns any item in the box into the thing. They're never gonna do that. It makes no sense for them to do that. Because then you could make it so that, oh, okay, add the gunpowder, add the paper, and then it automatically makes the rocket for you. I just think that would be really cool, but, you know, I'm probably in the 0.00% of people who gives a shit. <laughs> oh, looks like I got some more stuff. I'll just dump it in here. It'll take care of itself. Isn't that right, Dark Sven? I want to lastly show you guys how it looks like at night because I, I, I'm so proud of it. But meanwhile, when it gets dark, we can head over here. There's my uh, creeper disc farm. It doesn't matter. Over here is my... Uh, what, are they, what is it called? 
Oh, raid farm. And over here is my pillager building. I was lucky it was so close to me. Uh, it actually looks kind of cool at night, not gonna lie. Uh, it's really fun too, just seeing them, since I built it in glass, just seeing them get sucked up through the machinery. Uh, so all the pillagers spawn, because there used to be a pillager tower down there. Uh, they go to attack the iron, uh, whatever they call. But lo and behold, they get sucked. We'll see them get sucked up any minute now. There you are. Come get sucked, my dudes. Yes. Yes. And you can just kill them. One shot, one kill. I mean, the best XP is just trading, to be honest. And I have a cow up here in case I don't want to get the buff. This is very, very satisfying. Then once you have the raid buff, you just fly down here. Get the buff from downstairs. Fly back home, do the trading. Bada bing, bada boom. You're rich, baby. Oh, uh, look, now you see all the planets. I could build it a little higher now because of the new update, which I really appreciate. Thank you, Mojang. Very cool. Uh, here is the nether area. I tried experimenting with shooting items from the nether into uh, my ass. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, the chunk needs to be loaded, and uh, I know there's coding ways to cheat that, but uh, I'm not smart enough. And it feels like cheating a little bit. Here is my uh, nether base. It's kind of bland. There's not much to it. It's apparently not safe either. I don't know how these people spawn. Oh, because I don't have a carpet in? Is that why? Um, but yeah, these tunnels go either way. And they're quite... I, I love the design I got on them. Like, they're very satisfying to run in. So this one goes right over there, which goes to my nether castle. This is cozy. Nether used to be so scary when you were starting off, but now, bro, we control this city. I own this town. Uh, you can leave if you want to. Uh, there are some other passageways, and I don't need to go through all of them. But yeah, pretty cool. It's getting dark, nice. That's just what I wanted. So yeah, thank you for watching my tour of my Minecraft world. I am very proud and I love this thing. <laughs> I mean, I uh, finally get to show it in at its peak when it's dark yes holy moly i added lava around which is something i wanted to do for a long time but i just felt like it's too dangerous let's fly up yeah baby yeah <laughs> uh. boom baby let's go Gotta make sure not to fly into the lava. Let's go on top of the planet. Damn. I'm so stoked. Oh, f yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks for uh, letting me do this tour. I appreciate it. I love this stuff. <laughs> uh, I think I'm done. I just need to add some small details, but overall, I'm... I'm done, man. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Brofist.